What is up, YTR Films gang? We're getting it put back together. We're doing a little wiring mods or uh, modifications to make these bad boys fit. Oh yeah. What are we doing here, bro? Well, it turns out that the 1SS doesn't have two power supplies for the seats. So we need to jump the wires. Not the best method, but it should work. So the pin number one has a uh, battery power. However, pin 24 is the battery, but on the SS one, you don't have number one. It's minimal. Well, it uses the minimal features on this one. This one has heat, cool fans, everything on it. So we need to get two powers on it. One way that I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna jump from this one, pin number 24 to pin number one. I'm gonna try it. It should work. As long as it has power, it will work. So we haven't tried it. We're gonna try it, give this a shot. And if it works, then this is the way, right way to do it or the way to get them to work. And if it doesn't work, then we'll let you know too. <laughs> Cause this, this is the harness for the Z01. As you can tell all the wires it has, all these. So take a look at all these wires and check it out on the one that says harness for the car. It has kind of like just the basic wires, literally. And this is the one from the seat, check it out. So you can count these and like, three four seconds probably we have about six the other one has a lot more so out of research we've been doing we've we found out that obviously this one is power which the z01 seats have but what this one doesn't have that the z01s do is the power that goes right here where i'm pointing with my thumb so we're gonna bridge power from this one to this one and see if we can get the back all the functions from the z01 seats it does have, I believe, the passenger one in already. And that one works fine because it doesn't have that extra power source or power wire that it needs. So it's on there along with the back seats. So it's getting there, it's getting there. We just need to make it work. The pass uh the driver's side to make it work, my bad. So let's let's keep moving forward and then we'll give you guys another update right now. Alright, so let's check it out. We're gonna put the seat on. We already connected it. Let's see if it works. Show them that it's not buckled down, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, this is a trial and error. So if it works, then it's, it works. If it still, doesn't... It's still on hook. I just latched it, so it's moving away. All right. The big problem was I can't get in there. So I'm too fat. So whoever had these seats... Must have been a midget, man, because <laughs> I can't even get in. <laughs> and the problem was as soon as I connect them, it wouldn't move. So let, let's, let's try yeah. the moment of truth, bro. Woo. This is a break Woo. or make moment. If not, I gotta sell them, man, or fix them. Let's see, ready? Oh! Oh, shit. Oh! oh boy. We uh, got it, bro. Give me some, give me some. Who said it? Uh. That is legit, bro. Forward? Who said a one and oh. says can't have it? Back. I see my boy. There it is. Full Z01 interior on a one that says. I think, I think, I think this is probably a lot cheaper than getting a Z01. Or maybe a 2SS? How much you spend on your whole setup, bro? On my seats? You 1500 see. bucks. 50, okay, no. Now, that's a, that's probably a deal of a lifetime. But that's how but much I got them for? That's the deal, man. And they're 15, brand new. This is 1500 bucks. Now, I'm pretty sure the dealer on a 2SS is what? What? Are they, what's the markup for a 2SS interior? Probably like, like what, 2000 I like, I like to say 2000 two three thousand well the seats for cargo seats you only can buy the one oe ones you can't buy the z01 and they go for about 22 2300 each yeah so so mind you the the, the two ss seats are exactly like this just wrapped in leather with an ss emblem right here i believe or some sort right I have an ss yeah, emblem right SS emblem. this yeah, this is not your regular seat this is a recargo baby so this is track focus it has this What'd you call these boys? Bolsters? Bolsters, yeah. A little bit more bolsters on the side. We got them to work, buddy. We got them to and, work. And they go perfect with the new seat belts, man. Look and at look that. Look at that combination. Woohoo! We told you guys we had a little surprise for you guys, and here it is. So we're just gonna finish putting okay. all the pieces back together for the puzzle. And okay. this interior is gonna be complete. All we need is a the bolt for this, the clip for this, basically like an airbag clip, two retainer clips, and a bolt in the back. So three bolts and then two clips technically the main one and then the side one and that's it cool and we still got a little bit more goodies for this car in the interior um 
I'm not gonna throw the name out there, but I'll give you guys a hint where it goes. Somewhere along those lines. Is it the steering wheel? Maybe. Or is it the dash panel? Maybe. Or is it the side door panels? You guys have to wait and find out. So What's anybody you? wanting to know if you can put or cargo seats on a 1SS, this is a 17 model. You can, you just need to jump the power from plug 24 or pin 24 to number one. That's it. And uh, a huge shout out to uh, Gen 5 uh, D, uh, UI. I hit them up and they told me that the issue with it was they need double power. And luckily they replied real quick. They said, they don't work because you need double power. I jumped the cables. I just had to do a little research, find the pins out. Me and my brother knocked it out. We laid that about 10 wire diagrams, but we got it. There he goes, man, fully functional. And now you got cooled seats, my boy. You got cooled seats. Ooh. No more sweaty, sweaty holes in traffic. <laughs> but it's all pulled back together, front bumpers on, fenders on. I don't know if you guys have been watching the channel, but this car had a little, little accident. But I, don't, I can't tell where it was. Can you guys tell? Drop a comment below if you guys can tell where it was. What do you guys think we should add more to it since it's already back here, not taking up space and it could stay here for weeks or a couple more days. Whoops, I'm over here breaking your old connectors, bro. All right, man. Oh, and the way to take these off is only have one pin here and they clip in the back. So let me just show you because I'm already done with this one anyways. So you hook them up on both sides. Yeah. Hook them up, make sure the hook's in the back and then you just slide forward. Make sure you keep pushing and this little retainer clip goes on and then this is just orientates it. And then if you get it stuck, you need to go to the inside and then just close them down. But there's zip ties here. It has a little zip tie holding this together and that's it. Awesome. There you go, guys. Woo. So any any other shout outs you want to give before we end the video or, or any, my, any updates? To my pockets. There you Huge go. Shout bud. out to my pockets and my little brother for helping me out. We got a few more issues that we got to work out. We got a code that we can't figure out yet, but we'll get it. Well, that's 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 it for this video, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We'll be back with more videos, guys. Yeah.